Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and I think we're just wandering around here a bit. Can I talk to these guys? No, I can't. Uh, right, I guess we just follow the little marker then. Okay. Okay. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Um... Right, you trust me now? I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. <laughs> They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. <laughs> right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Um... No, you're a snooty prick, so don't play games with me. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Touché. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for Eos will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Okay. So back to the Hyperion. However we do that, then. So I got... Sh I got files or something. Right, okay, journal. <clears throat> okay. The Nexus there. The Nexus needs a resource producing outpost, but Eos is the only planet in range. As the only Pathfinder, you have been asked to achieve the impossible, find a way to settle Eos, and give the initiative the foothold it needs. Director Tan has committed the resources for a last ditch effort, including a ship and support team for the Pathfinder. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Okay. Um, allies and relationships? Uh huh. So, what's this then? So, these. This is all missions. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, man, that's a lot to read. <clears throat> Okay, well, let's give one of these a go then. Whew, okay, 
So, the Systems Alliance is a supranational government that spearheads human space exploration and settlement in the Milky Way. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of extrasolar colonies and stations and officially represents humanity on the Citadel Council. Okay. Uh, the Alliance was founded out of necessity, as no single nation could fund and manage the rapid expansion of humanity from Sol. The discovery of Prothean ruins on Mars had proven that alien contact was inevitable, earning international support for the Alliance that solidified after Alliance forces liberated Shanxi in the First Contact War. Or possibly Shanxi, something like that, if it's Chinese, whatever. Anyway, um, archived extranet articles and Jen Garson staff bulletins revealed tensions between the Alliance and the Andromeda Initiative. Construction of dreadnought-sized ships and persistent rumours of AI development which could have damaged humanity's standing on the Citadel led to the Alliance demanding to oversee the Initiative's labs and shipyards. Negotiations continued until the day of the Initiative's departure. Okay. The most respected... The most respected Systems Alliance officer training is awarded through Interplanetary Combatives Training (ICT) at the v at the Villa Militar in Rio de Janeiro. Candidates at the Villa are initially given 20-hour training missions to lead teams through hostile terrain on little food or sleep. Trainees who do well are awarded an international designation of N1 and are invited to return. Subsequent courses, N2 through N6, are often held off-planet and include instruction in zero-g combat, military freefall parachuting, jetpack flight, combat diving, combat instruction, linguistics, and frontline trauma care for human and alien biology. Which apparently didn't help that guy with a broken fucking leg earlier. The highest grade of training, N6, provides actual combat experience in conflict zones throughout the galaxy. If the trainee survives these scenarios in admirable and effective fashion, he or she will finally receive receives the coveted N7 designation. N7 is the only ICT designation that may be worn on field or dress uniforms. Okay. Right. I'll do another alien one later. Maybe. Uh, what else have we got? The codex. Oh right, this is this is uh, yeah, this is this is what I was looking at. Okay, inventory skills game. Can I do anything with skills? Uh, I've got three skills points apparently. Uh, biotics combat. Uh, okay. Um. Pistols, assault rifles, okay. 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 <laughs> um. Right. Okay, let's get back to doing things. Um. Right, I think I'm going up this way. Or not. So... Huh. Maybe that way. Dee 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 dee. This is one of the drags with like the more open world games. There is a lot of just running around, just... Doing fuck all, really. Which is a bit dull, in some ways. This yeah. console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrus for authorization to participate. Uh, okay. Um. This is a nightmare. No, I'll do that later, or whatever. I want to go and talk to what's his face. Where the fuck are we supposed to go for this f fucking ship? Oh, head back to blah blah. Well, where the fuck is blah blah? Brian. Pretty. 
Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Oh, crikey. All right. Um. You are Sarah Ryder. Salary code 19B. Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. <laughs> Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? Uh, okay. For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Ah, oh, fuck it then. Right, um, I'm still there. Thing. Which way am I supposed to go? Do I go this way? Okay. No, that's that director prick. Um. Hello. Yes. That is a cool view. I like that. Yes. Very cool. Right. Okay. But still, where the fuck are we supposed to go? Maybe that door. I'm running out of doors. Kesh's office. Who the fuck is Kesh? Um. Oh, that guy. Same shit, different day. For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up, the Nexus is a four-ring circus. Don't like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who likely, who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Kandros about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously hate this kind of drama. Fair enough. Well, Tan seems like a douche. Uh, yes, let's... I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. Okay. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Okay then. <sighs> I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Hmm. Okay. What mut uh, what mut uh, mutiny? Why do you call Tan 8? Because he was 8th in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Hmm. Keep him humble. <laughs> Not very likely. Okay. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Fair enough. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Hmm, okay. 
Uh, okay. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. Hmm. What happened to Jian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. Mighty. But will he tell me? And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. So what the fuck is a genophage? When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. So how are you still a species? Uh, d -d -d. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Fair enough. State of a cure. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage? Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Well, cool. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. uh your job. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Okay. Bye-bye, then. Nothing more for now. Later. Hmm. Okay. Um... My crew's working on it. We've moved the op center to the top of our priority. I still don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. This is another thing that bugs me as well. It's like... You get these fucking, um... Uh, the direction markers. And half the time you can't tell where the fuck you're supposed to go. Uh, looks like it might be this way there. Okay. There we are. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's her. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? <laughs> well, she's a bitch. Right, um... Yeah, meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Okay, is there any point? Because presumably he's going to be out for the entire fucking game. But let's mosey on back to the Hyperion. Right, and I think we'll leave it there. So we'll uh, 
go and talk to Sam in the next one. So thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.